Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Portillo Party of Four. Today we are going to do a budget-friendly dinner tonight as well as meal prep because we will have leftovers that I will be packing for lunches throughout the week. And let's get started. We are going to do some drumsticks here, definitely some green beans. And as you can see, this is a family pack of um, chicken and I only paid $5.43 for this entire pack of drumsticks. Okay guys, I did forget to mention I am doing a collab tonight with my um, best friend. She also has a YouTube channel, Just the Jones Fam 7900. Um, if you guys want to check out her channel as well, she does a lot of um, haul videos. She does um, a lot of like cooking, baking videos, just family life kind of videos. And today she's going to be doing a budget friendly um, dinner option like I'm doing here today just to give you guys some ideas. I know groceries have gotten so crazy expensive and sometimes it's hard to know what to make on a budget um, and stay within your grocery budget. So here is what we're doing for dinner tonight. We are going to do this baked chicken. We will also have leftovers and I'll pack those for lunches this week. And here are the seasonings that I used. I know this is bouillon, but I also use this as seasoning occasionally, and I love it. Also did some Hen Valley Ranch, black pepper, onion powder, paprika, garlic powder, and then I sprayed um, them with extra virgin olive oil on the pan so they would not stick, and then also on them to make the um, seasoning stick to it better as well. So I have my oven set to 400, and we are about to put these in. Okay guys, so one side we are going to be making tonight is some rice. My son absolutely loves having rice and beans almost every day if I would let him. Um, that is his favorite meal. So tonight mama is going to make him his favorite meal. So I have um, some rice and some oil over here. We are going to brown this up a little bit. Do not burn it, just brown it a little bit. Um, add our seasoning and some water and then cook it. So. In here, I have only a cup of rice. Rice does expand. I don't need a ton of rice and I don't want a lot of leftovers. Um, so, cause mama over here is doing low carb um, dinner and lunches and things. So this is gonna be for my son. My husband will also have some rice. Maybe my daughter a tiny bit, but she's not a big rice girl. So I'll probably make her just some noodles to go with hers. Here are the beans I'm gonna be making for my son here. He absolutely loves these refried beans. Um, and we get these at just a local international food store. And then I know we are gonna have green beans. That's a side that I can have since I'm doing low carb. Um, so he will have rice and beans, maybe a little bit of chicken if I can get him to. I will have chicken and green beans for sure. Um, and we will see how everything else plays out. Okay guys, here is the bean situation. Um, I did add some milk in here just to thin them out just a little bit because they come out of the can very thick. Um, this is more so the consistency that we enjoy is just a little bit thinner, not watery or runny or anything, but just a little bit thinner than how thick they come out. Okay guys, here is how the rice is starting to look. And this is kind of what you're wanting is you're wanting to just, um, Keep an eye on it and you're just going to get a little bit of a golden type color, a little bit toasted on um, the rice. So just keep an eye on it so it doesn't burn. Um, once this gets to a nice toasty kind of color, I actually did decide guys to do two cups of rice. So I do have leftovers for my son tomorrow to have some more rice and beans for lunch. Um, just cause I'll be running errands and do something kind of quick to heat up for him. Um, so I did decide to do two cups of rice instead of just the one. So that's why it's just taking me a little bit longer to brown. And then I'm going to put four cups of water. It is two cups for every cup of, um, two cups of water for every cup of rice that you do. So I will be adding four cups of, um, water. And then I will be adding some of these seasoning here in there. Um, to make kind of like a broth and then I will keep it covered for about 20 to 23 minutes or so and then we'll fluff it up and see what it looks like. 
Okay guys, here is the rice. I have turned the heat up a little bit just because I want to bring it to a boil. And then once I bring it to a boil, I can turn the heat down and put the lid on. Um, but as you can see, this is, um, it's seasoned. I added those two bouillon seasonings in here and I also added a little bit of garlic powder in here as well. But here's what it looks like. Um, one thing you can do to tell if it is seasoned enough to your liking is just take your spoon, get a little bit of the broth and taste it and just kind of see is it is yours too salty, um, do you need to add some seasoning and things like that. Alright guys, we got our rice almost done here, we got our beans there, our chicken still in the oven. Um, also don't forget to watch my friend's video, she is making a cheeseburger pie kind of recipe that is very budget friendly she said it'll be her first time making it she got the recipe from someone else um and her youtube channel is just the jones fam 7900 and i will have her video tagged down below all right guys here is the rice it turned out great I'm gonna plate up little man's dinner and show that to you all right guys, here is my son's dinner. He's gonna have rice, beans, and a little pudding for dessert. And this is what he is having for dinner. It is his favorite little meal. Okay guys, my daughter is gonna go ahead and start her dinner. So she has some mac and cheese here and also half of a pupusa um, just to use it up. We had that yesterday and um, once the chicken comes out of the oven, it's still cooking. I'll give her some of my chicken as well. Okay guys, here is my husband's plate. He has a chicken leg. He has the other half of my daughter's pupusa there. Some rice beans and green beans. It looks so good. Also, don't forget to check out my um, friend's video as well. I'll have that linked below. See you guys next time. Bye everyone.